Keep your hands up. hands below the shoulders. Yep. Right here, and yep. I'm just going to do some half half press ups here. Now, okay. if, you, if the person responds, it's kind of hard at first, but after a few press-ups, it gets a little easier. They can go higher. You're the, really trying to keep this part relaxed right. and sagging in. Right. This stays this is, down. What you don't want to see is this, Brad. Exactly. Good. When, quite often, we do see this. Good point, Bob. Because their back is so tight. And the other, what are we looking for, Brad? What's the good sign? If the leg symptoms or the pain in the legs start to reduce or go up towards the back. Right. You might even feel more pain in the back. Exactly. Less pain in the leg. That's right. what you're looking for. And you're trying to go higher and higher. Just this week, I did this exact same exercise with a patient. She had numbness in her shin. We did five of these. And she said, oh, my shin doesn't hurt anymore. It feels normal. So I said, let's do some more. Right. And so once you get up to this point, this is the, the basic exercise. Now we're going to show you the advanced exercise. Let's say you've been doing these for a while. You're kind of stuck. It's it you know it, it has helped, but it's it, it's kind of stuck. You're still having some pain maybe in the buttock yet. Right. right. The the pain is the, the the symptoms in the leg are symptom free. The numbness, the pain is gone, but it's still here, and it's here, and we want to get it all the way to the center right there. So now we're going to take either a belt or a rolled sheet or. Oh, there, there's one more thing, Bob. Oh, you want to do the sag? I want one? you to lock your hands okay. out. So you're going to get up to the point where you want to make sure that the pelvis is still on the ground. Right here on the floor, yep. and you're going to lock your elbows out, and you're just letting it sag like this. And then you, can we do, you want to do, do No, you take a deep okay, breath. Yep, then I'll have the person exhale and relax, and just think about this going down and in and arching to the maximum, okay? And as long as the pain goes away here and feels more in the center, you're doing just fine. And if that helps, but you can't get it all the way and you want to get a little more pressure on there, in the clinic, us as therapists, we're going to put our hands on her and do some work that we know how Get to some do. some extra pressure. But at home, why don't you lay down, Bob? I've seen some people even do this, Brad, sure. wiggle a little bit like yep. this when they get up yep. in, in this area here. All right. You take, you can take a long towel. I use the sheet in this case, and I rolled it up in a nice uh, round cylindrical thing like this. I'm not going to use it for a toga. You're going to put it around the belt line. Go ahead, Bob. Show them what to do. I'm going to put my hands on here, hands on here, and I'm going to go ahead and lift up like this. Now i got some counter pressure. Uh, yeah, I don't know if they can see the this. Can they see it or not? Yeah, get your arm. There you go. Because this goes around the back. It stabilizes the arch in the back, and it does overpressure, what we call. And now you can move it down a little bit further and then put your hands down here and get that part, too. There you go. So you can move it along the spine here and yep. get overpressure. Pressure on. Pressure off, pressure on, pressure off. And this is going to work well for people who are not really bending their back like they should. And it gives, it just, it's an advanced 